What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw the female torso at a three quarter view. So let's get started. So the female torso itself is kind of hourglass shaped. It's going to be one trapezoid upside down connected to another trapezoid making it look like an hourglass. So that's pretty much what we're going to draw but it's going to be somewhat distorted or warped in a way. And I'll show you what I mean. So what I am going to do is draw the top portion of the female torso by drawing a little curved line across the page like this. Okay? And then I'm going to make my center line. So my center line is not going to be a straight line going down. That would be a line of symmetry which we're not going to do because I'm going to draw the female torso at a three quarter view. So I'm going to make the curved line like this, curving towards the left hand side. Now, if you're drawing the female torso at the right hand side, you can do this, but in reverse, but that's up to you. But in this video, I'm going to be drawing the female torso at a three quarter view facing that way. Now, on this side of this curved line that we drew at the beginning, we're going to make a curved line that's similar to this one all the way at the end, but it's going to be a little bit more curved. So I'm going to come off of this point of this line. I'm going to make a curve that's somewhat similar to this center line. like that and then on the other side of this line I'm actually gonna make a curve that kind of comes inward a little bit because the female body itself has a lot of curves to it but it also has curves that come in then comes back out to show the hips I'll show you but before we do that we're actually gonna make a line going through our center line like this like that so that way when we make a curve line that connects this point to this point we have a stopping point so I'm gonna do that so just curve out like this and then curve back in. So it kind of looks like a vase in a way, but let me fix this line real quick. So it really looks more like an S curve and that's what I'm going for. And then now coming back to this side, we're actually going to start off at this point here and curve back out like that. And now it's starting to look like an hourglass. And now I'm going to come back to this side and make more of a curve coming out. Because I'm trying to emphasize the curves just on this side. So, so I'm going to start off at that point. I make a line that's coming out. So that way it really looks like a, a letter V kind of shape. And it's not seeing much over here. Okay. And then after doing that, we can form this line into a curve that comes back inward. So, coming back in. And that forms the lower body. So right about here, on this center line, that's going to be the crotch. So I'm going to draw a couple of V shapes down here to help show that. like that and it already looks like a female torso now so I'm just gonna finish the leg that's over here I'm gonna bring this line in see and now let me just draw in the top portion of the female torso so for now I'm just gonna draw in what looks to be um, a mannequin at like a department store that kind of thing so I'm just gonna draw in a neck with two lines at the top like so and then just sketch in the shoulders the deltoids if you want to call them that and then we'll get to drawing the arms later okay now I'm gonna erase most of these guidelines but still keeping them visible. Hopefully you guys can still see these guidelines, but that's what we got so far. And I'm gonna take my 4B pencil and begin to draw the breasts on a female. So I'm gonna start off at this corner where we started and just make like a water balloon shape coming off of there. And you don't have to totally fulfill the water balloon shape. So I'm just gonna make like half of that because I'm just going to say this character here is wearing some sort of a bathing suit and it's going to be covering the entire breast. I'm not, I'm not going to draw the entire breast, but I can if I choose to, but uh, in this case, I'm not going to. 
and then draw the other one on the other side of the center line. I'm not going to show much of that again. So just one curve to show that. And then it's going to draw a line in the middle because they're sitting on something. And I want to show that by just drawing these lines here. Okay, and then from this breast, there's a line underneath it that shows the guidelines that we use to make the rest of the torso. Now we're going to draw those in. Okay, and you see around this portion where we kind of made it very angular, instead of leaving it like that, we can make that into a curve. And that's really self-explanatory, just uh, use a curved line like that. Draw in the rest of the bottom portion of the body. And then draw in the rest of the upper part of the body. But I'm just gonna leave some space because I'm gonna draw in the arm right after. So, I grab my other pencil again. And I'm just gonna draw in the arm. And since I already have the shoulders drawn, I'm actually gonna draw like a little joint, like a little circle up here to show the joint. And I'm just gonna make a guideline for the arm. But I'm actually gonna have it come behind the body to make it easy. So just have it come behind the body like that, easy. And then I can possibly do the same thing with the other arm. Make another joint, have it come behind the body, okay? And now from here, I can begin to draw in the arms. So I'm just gonna come off of this uh, contour up here where I began to draw the shoulders. Construct the arm that way. And then construct the rest of the arm. You fix that. and then just connect that line with the body. Okay, make this come up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna make my character look like she's wearing a bathing suit. So I'm just gonna draw in a couple straps that are up here to help show that. A letter U around the neck. And then finish the strap that's over here. And then right here where our center line is, I can draw a couple of lines that show the breast and then just construct the arm on the other side and then from here you can just make any necessary adjustments that you want to make like in my case, I'm just going to make this arm come in a little bit. So that way the body doesn't look too brutish. I'm going to bring this in a little bit too. Yeah, that looks a little better. And then you can erase any guidelines that you don't need anymore. And real quick, I'm just going to finalize this sketch. And after doing that, we're pretty much done. That's how you draw the female torso. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I